Hi friends, in this video, we software use use your Windows PC in CD or DVD. We will see the CD in Windows 7, 8, 10 built in CD burning option. So, we will see the CD burning option use in the CD burning option. That is why CD burning software is used in the Windows built in CD burner. use the difference in this video? So, this video, we will skip full of First, you insert CD or DVD in your laptop or computer. I have a DVD insert in my DVD capacity is 4.38 GB. Now, insert in the DVD, you can see 4.38 GB free space. Now, you can double click on the DVD drive. Now, you can open the dialog box. First option is Disk Title. You can burn the CD or DVD title. So, you can recognize the CD and you can recognize the CD and you can recognize the CD. You can the CD DVD and you can recognize the CD or DVD and you can like a USB flash drive with a CD or DVD player. We can edit the CD and we can edit the CD and we can create the CD. So, that's why with a CD or DVD player option select the option. Now, next you can see the files in CD and copy and paste the files. You can drag the CD or drag the CD and drag the CD and drag the CD. Now, I will paste the files in the DVD drive. Now, if you have the first files, you will note the first thing you have to burn. The size of these files is exceeded by your CD or DVD capacity. That's why my CD or DVD size is 4.38 GB. Now, I will paste the files in the DVD size 4.38 GB. Now, check the files in the DVD size 4.38 GB. Now, you can paste the files in the DVD size. Click on the right click and click on the properties option. Now, you can see the capacity of the files in this area. Now, my size of the files is 4.37 GB. So, my DVD capacity is exceeded. So, I will burn the files in my DVD. Now, you can see the files in this area. You can click on the files in this area. So, you can click on the empty space in this area. So, you can click on the empty space in this area. Now, click the Drive Tools tab and click the Finish Burning option. Now, I told you that you have to give the disk title first. Then, you have to give the CD or DVD Burning Speed. This is the highest speed. Now, click the Next button. Now, the CD or DVD Burning process has started. This is complete for 8 to 10 minutes. Now, the burning process has completed. Then, my DVD is ejected. I insert it immediately. If you look at my DVD drive, the course 1 is the title display. Then, the free space is zero. So, my files are all correct. There is also a CD burning option in Windows. I am using the CD burning software. That is why I am telling you that you have the capacity of the DVD to burn the files. If you look at the warning of the CD burning option in the built-in CD burner, your CD is spoiled, so you can check your file size manually. If you use the CD burning software, you can get a warning. So you can easily modify files and you can burn the file correctly. You can get any mistake. If you use the CD burning software, you can easily burn the ISO files. In the next video, we will see how you burn the CD burning software in your Windows PC or CD or DVD. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to our channel. That is why you can see all the videos in our channel. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to our channel. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to our channel.